Mr. Stanley, thanking, uh, thank you so much for taking the time and talking to us. Uh, My it's, pleasure. Very, it's very appreciated. And uh, I got to say one thing first, because uh, thank you so much for what you did on Twitter during the past four years, uh, during the Trump years and during this pandemic, because I think nowadays it takes a lot of courage just to say the truth. And uh, we all really appreciated that. So thank you very much for that. Well, I, I think that... Um If we can use the internet and social media for good, um, rather than anonymous people hiding behind it and and uh, spreading either falsehoods or or um, you know uh, insults, I think uh, you know it can unify us, those of us that believe the same things. And and uh, you know um, I don't want to preach, but I. I I feel that uh, making my uh, opinions on certain subjects known is 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 part of uh, my right. It's it's the right of everyone else. So why wouldn't it be the right of you know me? It's interesting when they say to a sports figure, just dribble your basketball, or if they say to a musician, just play your instrument. Well, that doesn't apply to anybody else. Um, the only people who want you to shut up are the ones who don't agree with you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, you know, speaking of a pandemic, uh, I mean, I guess uh, by the time now, if there wasn't any pandemic, you would be done with the end of the road tour. And, uh, and now you have to go back and do those final shows. I mean, are you looking forward to them? Or do you go like, we're two years behind, let's get this over with. Well, I do go, we're two years behind. I do go, you know, um, as you get older, you begin to realize more and more that um, life has an end and time marches on. So um, what you lose versus what you gain for lost time, um, you know, um, I want to get back out there and I I, I have a, a lot of, desire and passion to go out and and do the 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 remainder of the shows which are probably a hundred shows left but um also taking off that amount of time is kind of like if you stop doing a sport or if you stop exercising or or doing something when you stop and you're not on the treadmill anymore so to speak you go my god that's that's not easy you know <laughs> It's not easy to do what I do, but uh, I'm in I'm in good shape. I'm I'm ready to do it, and um, um, I, I look forward to the shows because the the reviews, not only from the fans but from the press, the reviews have been you know fantastic. So it's just great to go out there and and um, once again put our stamp on on what we do. You know, I got to ask you that because there's always rumors come up whether uh, Ace and Peter are going to join for the final shows or in any time of those 100 shows left. Uh, can you comment some? Uh, do you have some new information on that for us? I have none. Um, this really is a celebration of KISS, not any lineup of the band. And while I will say that um, uh, KISS wouldn't have existed without Ace and Peter in the beginning, I can also say that KISS wouldn't exist with Ace and Peter in the band today. So that being said, look, it's a celebration of the band and whatever happens will happen. I have, I, um, have no, no um, uh, feelings of, of wanting to um, omit them or not have them be a part of it. But um, um, I'm not losing sleep over it. And if it's meant to be, it will happen. All right. All right. Uh, I got just this beauty here today. <clears throat> mm. I just unwrapped it. And <laughs> I'm so much looking forward to listening to it. Uh, just how many, how many of those soundboard tapes do you actually have in your archives, in your vaults? It must be gazillion i well certainly there's hundreds yeah uh, um that's a safe safe uh estimate um this one is quite good and uh 
it's it's raw. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's quite good. It's quite quite thunderous and and quite uh, um, it's it's a really good representation of uh, the live show. So, uh, how many of those do you, how many of those do you think you will actually you know uh, um, release as a sort of official bootleg series? I have no idea. Um, uh, we'll see how they're received. Um, and uh, we'll take it from there. They, they certainly exist and uh, we, we have them. We recorded virtually every night. So uh, there's no shortage of them. We'll, we'll see uh, how, how they're embraced and uh, we'll take it from there. Is there going to be one final gigantic Kiss Alive Five? I, I don't know that... Um, I don't know that we would call it Kiss Alive Five, but we'll absolutely uh, record and document our final show. That that would be insane not to. So what it winds up being called, it it will be what it is. It will be you know the last or or a culmination of some of the last shows. I cannot imagine at all how retirement for uh, somebody like Paul Stanley would look like. Can you? Retirement um, for some people might mean sitting on the sofa and yeah. watching television. I'm not retiring. Um, I have too much to do. I have too many things I love doing. So um, retiring, um, I don't think that really applies. What what is happening is is Kiss will um, um, curtail all its touring. Kiss won't be a touring band anymore. Um, in terms of creativity and the things I do, I'm always doing something. Whether I'm painting or Soul Station, um, it, it just goes on and on. Songwriting. So um, you just realize at some point, like most athletes, that um, you can only do what you do for so long. Yeah. Um, um, the idea of, of playing uh, in Kiss in your 80s or so, well, if we were wearing jeans and, and trainers, yeah, we could do it. But 40 or 50 pounds of gear, and eight inch heels and running around and making it look easy is not easy. <laughs> um, but I can do it and I love doing it, but we also know that we can't do it indefinitely. Yeah. So before it reaches that point, it's a great idea to spend an evening with local fans in each city and um, say goodbye and also to celebrate what we did together, meaning the band and the fans. You know, listening to you talking about all the gear and, you know, all the, that it's actually exhausting to do a full kiss show. Obviously it is. Wasn't that some kind of a burden when you, when you in the mid nineties, put the gear back on, you go like, oh my God, this again, <laughs> you know, we um, have to carry all this around now again. And, you know. Well, funny you should ask because, um, Before we, we toured, I think we probably spent six or eight months with uh, physical trainers um, just to make sure that when we went back out, um, we were what people remember. Um, uh, that was most important. You don't want to see, you know, um, a fat man in tights. You know, you don't... Uh, If people wanted KISS to return, we had to return in our glory. We had to return in, in full, full fitness. And, and uh, that was, uh, for some more than others, it was a real challenge. But um, it, it, it was great. It was a, a great discipline. And I, I, uh, I don't live um, that different than that all the time. Some of the guys, it was a, a bit of a beating and a shock. 
nice. Uh, there's, you know, when, when I first heard the music of Soul Station, I was surprised. I think many people were. But tell me one thing. What's more challenging to sing, the music of the songs of Soul Station or the songs of Kiss? Well, um, well, interesting question because um, I have a lot to live up to either way. Um, yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, um, if you're singing a song by Smokey Robinson, that's uh, or The Temptations, if you're trying to uh, uh, sing a, a David Ruffin or an Eddie Kendrick song from The Temps, you've got uh, you've got big shoes to try to fill. And um, if you're um, singing a uh, Paul Stanley song, same thing, you know, it's, it's, uh, um, it's challenging. It's for different reasons. Um, but um, I don't, I, I don't know. I think I, th I would say that um, soul station is more challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like trying to thread a needle, you know, um, in that way, it's not that different than doing Phantom of the Opera. There's not a lot of leeway on either side of what's expected of you. So you have to, you have to pretty much nail it. You have to hit the bullseye. And uh, um, that's always my intent. And to do it with um, emotion, you know, is, um, part of it is technical and the mm -hmm. other end of it is emotional. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's the myth of the final show. It'll come closer and closer and closer. And, uh, you know, I experienced you guys through all the, the decades as being professional. So what do you think? What kind of emotion do you think you will have when you go out there on stage being kissed for the very last time? I think it'll be overwhelming. I think it'll be... Uh, very emotional. Um, there are times even in the past decade that we've done shows where I choke up or, or get teary eyed because what we've accomplished and the way we've affected people is so far beyond anything I could have imagined. When, when you see uh, parents bring their children to experience what they experienced, um, that's, that goes beyond um, being a rock band, you know, yeah. um, that's, that's being a phenomenon. Um, rock bands make music, phenomenons impact society. Yeah. So I'm not, not, that's not lost on me. So um, the idea of a, a final show is monumental. Uh, I'm sure it's going to affect us more than we know. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Now, when you're done, is one of the first things that you're going to do invite Gene over for dinner? Or how is this, you know, relationship between you guys, members of KISS, how is that going to go on? It's never been stronger. Certainly Gene's and my relationship has never It never been stronger than it is now because we won. We, you know, um, whether you want to think in terms of a, a sports marathon or um, a business marathon, whatever you want to think of it as, we fought for what we believed in and we won. And um, where we are at this point in our lives is um, – a time of gratitude and reflection and appreciation of everything we have and each other. We, we, uh, we made lives for each other that neither one of us could have ever imagined. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I think I have no more further questions, Your Honor. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope it's not the last time we talk, but, uh, you know, just in case, we salute you. We all Thanks do. So much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And have a good Bye -bye. day.